Hey guys, Coach G one more time, and I am sitting with the women's bowling coach. So coach, please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Kim Kearney. I'm the women's bowling coach here at North Carolina A&T. This is my seventh season here in Greensboro, and uh, it's going well. All right, awesome. So we're not going to talk about how, how much you guys are winning. So we're going we're gonna to leave that aside right now because that, that's the proof is in the pudding. So uh, coach, how did you get into uh, bowling and coaching? I uh, started bowling when I was a kid, like seven, eight, which was, you know, a long time ago. That was mm -hmm. pretty young for bowling and uh, played other sports through middle school and high school. Okay. wasn't really fascinated with it necessarily <laughs> and uh, followed my sister's footsteps in college. She bowled collegiately and I think that's where I really got better okay. and then still had no intentions of bowling professionally or, or anything. Wow. And certainly I, I, I think I always <clears throat> was interested in sports and so I wanted to coach something. I just okay. never really thought it would be bowling. Oh wow. But here we are. Here we are. So how did you get to North Carolina a and um, So after I bowled on tour for a year, so I don't know, God, 15 years, I knew I wanted to coach mm -hmm. and I got involved with our Team USA program. Okay. And so I was assistant coach for the Team USA program for about six, seven years. All and right. um, I knew that I wanted to coach at this level. And right. so I was really looking for an opportunity collegiately. Okay. Um, most of them weren't paying because, you know, we're a club sport in most ways. And right, right. It was okay. just beginning to be an NCAA program. So when that opportunity arose, I went to Dell State for a couple years okay. and then uh, life kind of moved us in a different direction. My husband and I moved to Dallas, and then when the A&T position opened up, because Eric is an A&T grad. Okay. Oh. Um, he's got, my stepson just graduated from here. His grandparents went here, so it's sort of in our blood, and he wanted to come back to Greensboro, and so here we are. Oh, wow. So since you've been here, what has been your greatest experience? It's gonna sound sort of corny, but very much understanding what it means to be an Aggie, I, I think oh, is... Oh, yeah, gotta bleed blue and gold. Yeah, it's taken a sec to feel like I belong because I didn't go to school here. Oh, right? yeah. So, yeah we, you know, not, not everyone, <laughs> everyone makes mistakes and we all forgive it. So we, <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna fault. hold that against you. I grew up in California, so I didn't really know what I was oh, doing. Oh, Valley, but, yeah. <laughs> but I think that, you know, that has been, I, I think the most, I think heartwarming part of, of this position is that immediately I felt welcome. Immediately, like yeah. I don't think it was noon before I called Eric and I said, I have to take this job. I don't know why I, I wouldn't because you feel so welcome yeah. here and yes. it feels like family. And I think that's my biggest recruiting tool is like mm -hmm. once I get a kid here, oh, if yeah. I can just get them on campus, it's a wrap. they're coming. It's a wrap. You hear that? You get on campus, <laughs> it's a wrap. All right, guys, we're sitting here with um, someone from the bowling team. Right? Yeah. So please, introduce yourself. My name is Maya Avalas. I'm from Staten Island, New York. I keep thinking of Papoose when I hear that. I don't know. You don't, you don't know who Papoose is? Oh, no. Lord, bless your heart. How old are you? I'm 19. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to talk about that. So you're from <laughs> Staten Island, New York, right? Mm-hmm. How in the world did you get to a &T? So it was a really funny story. My, so I bowl in Howell, New Jersey. Shout out Howell Lanes. Uh, and my coach from Howell, she was uh, in Coach Kim's wedding. Oh, wow, okay. So uh, she was like, you have to apply to a &T. You have to talk to Coach Kim. So I did. I sent her an email, and now I'm here. Wow. So um, I guess I don't, because I don't know much about bowling. So what do you bowl in order to, is that a good question to ask? <laughs> what? you got to like, be what, a little like more your, specific. <laughs> yeah, so what's like your score, like, like your high score? Because 300 is the most you can get in it. Or is it yes, 300 is... The highest you can get. Okay. I have four perfect games. Four? Four. Yes. You put the bumpers down? Yeah, yeah no bumpers. Oh, no bumpers. I actually throw it under my legs. Are you, you joking? I'm totally joking. Okay. <laughs> so I, was like, <laughs> I was trying to picture that. I was like, how can you bowl? Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm totally joking okay, with you. Cool. So you bowl four perfect games, bowling under your legs. Yep. And you, what year are you? I'm a sophomore. You're a sophomore? Yeah. What's your major? Uh, history. Oh, a history book. Mm -hmm. I wish I knew something that I could ask you right now, but I have no nothing about history. My history is uh, we came here on a boat, and that's about as far as I got. No, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm a kinesiology major, so I'm, oh. I'm just dealing with sports and athletics. Yeah. So since you've been here, I guess I do want to ask you, how is the bowling team doing? We're doing really well. The first first half of the semester, we came away with three wins in a row. Mm -hmm. uh, 
at, at major tournaments, they were really hard, really tough field. So we just want to keep up that that energy going into the spring semester. We leave tomorrow. Oh wow! So uh, how many people on the team? There's ten people on the team. And how would someone go about trying to get a get recruited for bowling or get a bowling scholarship? Uh, basically, you just compile a bunch of video of you bowling. You send it to Coach Kim along with the email with all your accolades, your academic uh, achievements, and all that. And okay. Cool. Yeah. So since you've been here, what has been your most memorable experience? It probably has to be my first tournament last year. We went to New Orleans okay. and it happened to be during the Halloween parade. We didn't know. Oh. So we end up walking to Cafe Du Monde and we're like, why are there so many people? <laughs> and hey. we walk right into the parade. Oh my goodness. And to get to Cafe Du Monde, you have to cross the street. We had to cross through the parade. Oh my goodness. And then we ended up wa like watching the parade, catching a bunch of beads. I came home with like five or six beads, something like that. And we, it was thrilling. It was awesome. I'm just saying, I, I know, but never mind. We're not gonna talk about that. So that's been your greatest experience. So yes. we're gonna leave it at that, okay? <laughs> All right, guys. Again, we're sitting with another athlete from the bowling team. Please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Christina Acosta. I am originally from San Juan, Puerto Rico, but I grew up in Panama City, Panama. Oh, Panama City. And your last name Acosta? Yes. Hmm. My, uh, I have a cousin whose last name is Acosta. Nice. I don't think y'all related, but you, you may be. And you're from Panama City? Yes. How long have you been in the, uh, well, I guess that is the United States, isn't it? So no, so San Juan, Puerto Rico it is. Mm -hmm. Panama City, Panama, the country. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. So you came, how did you get to a &T? So I bowled for Panama's national team. Okay. So one of the girls that was in Team Colombia, mm -hmm. she went here. Okay. So in Colombia, they graduate a year early. Okay. So when she came here, she reached out and she was like, hey, what are your plans? And I was like, well, I'm looking for colleges. And then that's how we got in contact with Coach Kim. Wow. Yeah. Well, so I heard something interesting. I heard you guys should be ranked number one, but you're not. Is that true? It is. Oh my gosh. That's so what we feel like. We generally feel like. You feel like you're number one. So yeah. there's only one thing to do. You gotta go out there and show them. We sure will. All right. So how long have you been bowling? So I've been bowling since I was three years old. Oh, wow. It's been in all my life. Uh, my grandfather and my dad built a bowling alley in Puerto Rico. So that's how I got into the sport. Just, they built it just for you or they just built it so I mean, no, they, they just built the entire, you know. Oh, okay. So, and then okay. that's how we grew into it. I mean, they were already into the bowling world. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay, cool. Three years old. And so since you've been here. Now, I asked your last teammate this question, and I think it was going to go kind of left. So, But I'm going to ask you, too. Um, since you've been here, what has been your most memorable experience? So mine was Nationals. Uh, NCAA Nationals in Michigan. Mm -hmm. We were bowling against Dell State uh -huh. and we were down 3 0. And we're supposed to win uh, the best four games out of seven. Mm. So it came down to the fourth match where we were all like, what is going on? Like, there's no way we're losing 4 0 right. to pass on the next round. So we regrouped. Uh, I wasn't in the like in the lineup at that moment, okay. and Coach Kim put me in. Oh! And I was just fired up. I was I've never bowled so determined in my life, and we actually beat Dell State four in a row after that. Wow! So you the ringer? Is that what you're saying? Well, not really, <laughs> but honestly, yeah, that was definitely because it's really hard in that scenario for you to like come back, right? Especially for O, oh, just because. We have in the back of our heads, we, we can't lose. If right. we lose, we're out. Wow. So everybody just fired up. So how did y'all wind up doing at the at Nationals? Huh? How did you wind up doing since y'all came back? So how did you wind up, what did you finish? So I generally don't remember well. <laughs> this was recently when COVID hit, oh. like right after COVID hit. So like a lot has happened afterwards, you know? So, but it was an, an incredible experience. Awesome. Awesome, thank you so much. Thank I you. I really, really appreciate your time, taking taking the time out to talk to me. Thank you for having me. But before you go, you, you know what I need. Aggie Pride. You know. <laughs>